Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. You gotta love it. Radio listeners, I'll be giving you play-by-plays here. We've got live feeds at infowars.com forward slash show or prisonplanet.tv. And we've got, I don't know, 100 or more people down there marching at South by Southwest, the big multimedia conference, one of the biggest in the world that is funded by the World Bank. Seriously, go to their website. It's the main underwriter. And Bloomberg, and the whole thing's anti-gun, police state, anti-free speech. So we're down there talking to the trendies, and we're going to continue to talk to Jakari and Leanne for another 20 minutes. But, hey, it's not too late. You can march on Saturday, uh, 1130 San Jacinto down Congress. That's going to be even bigger. This is how we fight back against the tyranny. Jakari, we haven't talked to you in 30 minutes while we were interviewing Kathleen uh, Willie. Uh, to give me your take uh, on what's happened uh, since then, Jakari. Yeah, it's so loud he can't hear me. What's, give us a report, Jakari. See if he heard that. This is Houston to Cape Canaveral to... Uh, Good evening. You guys can turn me up. Yes, Shikari, can you hear me? Okay, so we're out here. Uh, we've moved down to 6th Street. We'll go to the uh, to the convention center here in a few minutes. You can see all these patriots out here. Justin, Cargill, all the normal names you know in the state of Texas for your open carry rights, for your gun rights, your Second Amendment rights. We got some great people. Let's talk to some people. Texas George. Texas George. You guys know Texas George. He was there the day uh, Mike Martinez said he wanted to make the gun ban legitimate. Going up here to Texas, George, and tell us, uh, what do you think about this uh, about this rally today and what spurred you to come out here in the first place? Well, I'll tell you what, I just I love seeing all the people out here this wonderful day in uh, Austin, Texas, uh, supporting the Second Amendment. Uh, the Second Amendment is actually, in my opinion, is number one of the amendments. If you lose that, you lose all the rest of them. That's the one that gives you the ability and the strength to support and keep your other amendments. That's right. Now, Texas, George, let me ask you, because you were the guy that Mike Martinez, the Austin City Council member, pointed out. He said, sir, you're out here with your sign. You're out here begging for attention. We're going to make your sign legitimate shortly. What were your thoughts about that? Well, you know, their, uh, their whole deal there that they were trying to do fell flat. And uh, I'd just like to say to Mike, how do you like me now, Mike? Yeah, because right. that deal did not fly that they were trying to do. And uh, I don't think the good people of Texas will ever allow guns to be restricted. Uh, all, all it takes uh, for a bad guy to be stopped is a good guy with a gun. That's right. Thank you, Texas George. Hey, it's my pleasure. God all right. And that's, and that's what's on going on out here. By uh, the way, Jakari, Texas George, I've been seeing Texas George for 20 years before I was even on air at gun rallies. Yeah, that's right. You know, we've seen him several times. He was there at the Alamo, as well as many other of these people, uh, these great patients. Let's talk to this guy. He's out here with his son. Sir, you mind giving us a word? Uh, so you came out here with your son. Uh, is this a school day, or what's your son doing out uh, here? No, this is spring break, sir. And we actually went down to the Floridation uh, protest uh, uh, back in January with uh, Miss McAdoo. And my son was down there as well. And unfortunately, they uh, voted unanimously not to take the uh, fluoridation out of the water. And we were there control freaks that, that. So I brought him out here medicate us. to let him know that exercising his rights at a protest is, is an obligation it's a good pop -up. for each generation. And if we don't stand up and exercise our rights, we will lose our rights. Our First Amendment right protects our Second Amendment right and vice versa. And I just wanted to get this little man out here today to let uh, him know that there's a lot of freedom lovers out here. And there's a lot of people that are very safe with their firearms. And we're, we can't protect our families. We uh, deserve to be able to protect our women, our children. No, let, me, let me talk to you, son. Can I talk to okay, you, son? Yeah, so, so you came out here today. Do they teach you about the Second Amendment and your right to bear arms in school? No. No. What do they teach you about? They only teach me. They really only teach me about. Go ahead. Go ahead. They only teach me about uh, voting and social studies. Social studies. A bunch of communism. Jakar, we got to go to break. Great job. When we come back, 
I want to talk about trendies. I want to go talk to the South by Southwest zombies. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com Generals gathered in their masses Just like witches He aligns himself with the truth And it's time for you to choose a side You're listening to Alex Jones Sorcerer of death's construction Burning. As the war machine keeps As turning. The war machine keeps turning. Death and hatred. Death and hatred to mankind. Poisoning their brainwashed minds. Poisoning their brainwashed minds. Oh, Lord, yeah. Burner. Says it all. political poetry before Ozzy Osbourne blew his brains out with drugs. Politicians had themselves away. They only started the war. They only started the war. Treating people like pawns in chess. Why should they go out to fight? They leave peril to the poor. Yeah. Treating people like pawns and chess, folks. Wait till their judgment day comes. Yeah. 
Bakari Jackson, we take you now live to the Central Texas, infested by Bloomberg World Bank Finance anti-gunners. And Jakari Jackson is interviewing a ground drone controlled from California, rolling around brainwashing people. Jakari Jackson, tell us about the robot controlled by a humanoid. Okay, miss, now, I don't know if you could see behind us, but we had a large crowd of people armed with their firearms, their long guns strapped to their back. Uh, what do you think about the Second Amendment and the right to bear arms? Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm on the clock. I'm probably going to plead the fifth on any of that. Okay, she's going to plead the fifth. Well, at least she knows oh. one of her rights, which is very good. Well, uh, we'll continue on. We're moving no, down here. Let's go back to the robot briefly. That, that's interesting. Ask the robot if we will be assimilated. Okay, if I could just ask you one final question, Miss. Do you think uh, the human population will be assimilated? I hope not. <laughs> she hopes not. Okay, good, good. Well, Jakari, I think she likes you. Now, listen, let's go back to her. Ask her her name. That wouldn't, that wouldn't be too bad. G uh, exactly. Get her to tell us about the robot. Okay, and, can you tell uh, us about your kiosk, your kiosk that's rolling away right here? I'll try to keep it steady. Uh, what's the kiosk about? So, yeah, it's called a beam. And it's a remote presence device, and it's designed to allow a person to be two places at once. So like I said, I'm in Kansas City, but I'm completely controlling this device from my desk here. I've got just a regular webcam, and I'm controlling it using the arrow keys on my keyboard. By the way, I'm, I'm thinking cool. about moving out of Austin and broadcasting from somewhere, so and I can have one of these roll around and gripe at people. Uh, actually, I could have little Daleks in multiple offices call people into the conference room and fire them over the robot. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm telling you, I actually may want to buy one of those. Because, uh, Jakari, would you like it if I worked from home and, and the robot came in and I talked to you over that? Uh, I don't think you would actually have the self, the will to, uh, to stay at home, Alex. You like being in the studio no matter what. I guess you are right, Jakari. But I'm telling you, it does have some obnoxious applications, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, you could, you could drive it around, I guess, City Hall or someplace and, and scream at the politicians. Uh, Jakari, uh, let's let's go talk to some of the South by Southwest people. What's sure. happened? Have, have any yeah, of the trendies... Right around here. We got a large crowd coming by. Have any of the trendies freaked out to see people with guns? No, no, we haven't We haven't met anybody who's freaked out with guns. We've actually lost our crowd, Alex, so if we can get closer to the crowd, we can ask yeah, people... Yeah, let's do that because here's what I want. I want his trendies walk by looking at their smartphones... I want you to say, hey, that man has a gun. What do you think? Okay, very good. Hey, excuse me, sir. Are you concerned? Okay. Excuse me, guys. What he, he's too trendy. Are you concerned at all that these guys have guns over here? What? Are you concerned at all that these guys have guns over here? Uh, no. No? No. Where are you Ask from? Ask him why. Austin here. Austin here. So well, why are you not concerned about these guys with all their firearms? Well, I mean, if they're using them properly, then why, why should I be concerned? Sir. Exactly. That's Can we see a answer. shot of the trooper on his shirt, please? Thank you, sir. No, no, no. The trooper on his shirt. I must look at it. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. If I get one shot at your, of your shirt right there. Oh, that's not the trooper, but that is Eddie. Okay. That's, that's it. I don't okay. think Eddie needs a gun. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank All right, you. Let's move up here to the crowd, Alex. All right. Yeah, let's go talk to the crowd. Hey, Cody. Hey, Cody. Hey, Alex, you know, you know uh, Cody Wilson. We're, we're broadcasting you live. Like info, yes, we are. <laughs> There's a battle on for your mind. <laughs> hey, you're you're the inventor of the 3D printable gun. Listen, man, that's some incredible shit. Oh, right, we're live, bro. Oh man, that's, we that's have to delay it. Brains over there. There's some liberals I was hanging out with last night saying, "Look, man, I saw people walking around with like fucking like machine guns and stuff." All right, bro, you gotta, you gotta watch it up. Thanks, uh, we bro, can't man. have Cody Wilson on. He does that in studio too. Yeah, that's Cody Wilson. He was the um, uh, printable gun pioneer. He also did some stuff with Bitcoin, but he's known largely for his uh, his printable gun work. And then people hear us delay people on the radio, and they go, Alex lied and said that guy was cussing. I didn't hear it. That's because yeah, we delay uh, it out. Go <laughs> find it someplace else, but, you know, we're trying to keep it uh, a PG for the audience. We'll move up here a little bit more. This is a PG family show. Yes. Excuse me, sir. What do you think about all these people with guns? Man, it's fine. It's fine? <laughs> all right. Listen, Jakari, let me tell you what I found out. Yes. Again, I went out with the cast of uh, Silicon Valley with Mike Judge yesterday, and a lot of these people had never shot guns. They were from California, and they were literally getting excited and were being possessed by the spirit of Redneck 1776. Well, you remember uh, when your, your uh, vanquished uh, <laughs> foe, Fierce Morgan, went and shot the machine guns. He looked quite happy when he was shooting those machine guns. We were sent the raw high-def footage and audio, but my lawyers looked at it. And we decided not to go with it, uh, even though we probably could have gotten away with it. It just. It, it